When it comes to helping children follow directions, many of us think that we're setting effective limits, but really what we're doing is giving orders. To drive this point home, think about giving orders like honking a horn on your car. Now, usually, usually, we reserve honking our horn for moments that require immediate action or to prevent something dangerous from happening. And so similarly, when it comes to giving orders, we really want to reserve that for moments where we need to propel our child into immediate action. We really don't want to overuse it. When we overuse giving orders, such as with frequent shouting, yelling, or giving strong direct commands, a child can actually become desensitized over time. And as you can imagine, that could actually become a safety issue if you're not able to propel your child into action. So the question then becomes, how do I support a child with everyday limit setting? And for that, we'd say that the ACT system of limit setting is probably going to give you better results. If you'd like more information on the difference between giving orders and setting effective limits, I encourage you to check out our newly updated Way of Being with Children manual. It's page 52. That's all for now. Stay playful, helpful, and hopeful.